if it was just basketball, it would it would be fine. It's, it's just so much more than basketball. It's uh, you can tell by the way we play. It's just we're just a real close group of people. That last minute, I mean, just, you were there. You're fighting back and forth. What what in that last minute? What happened there? I mean, they, they hit some unbelievable shots. Uh, the percentage was real high from the field. I don't know what it was. I mean, you left them open for a second, they hit it. We really played hard. We worked real hard on the ball screens, and that kid is a really good player at Woodhouse, and they're really well coached. They're a good team, and I thought we had a shot there. And um, I didn't I didn't really do a good job today, so, that, you know, a little bit comes down to me, and I, my, the kid breaks my heart because the kids played hard. They played hard enough to, to win that game. All right, you got Woodhouse in a foul trouble, which is which is great. You got him in three fouls in the first half, picked up his fourth, and, and then he comes back in the fourth quarter, and he seemed like he just kind of dictated everything. Yeah, I mean, well, they took the shot clock down. You know, we defended the ball screen once, we defended again twice, and he would just, he's, he's, a, he's a good basketball player, and, um, you know, to go zone with these shooters would have been a little crazy. They, even a man, when they were open, they hit him. So we really were out of options defensively other than we had to buckle down and try to make a couple stops. And they hit some tough shots with a hand. The kid made a shot on Eric Casey with a hand up. And we just needed a couple to, to rim out. And it just didn't go our way today. And I, you know, I just feel bad for the boys. You needed the biggest stop of the year. And your best defensive player comes off the floor, gets cut on his elbow. Mm -hmm. and, and he's guarding the ball. He's guarding Woodhouse. And Woodhouse is the guy that kind of makes it happen. Yeah. How, how, how big was that? I mean, just a cut. It was. I just, you know, just one possession. But that's a, like a big it, secret. It, it, it was almost like a cut in, in our heart, man. I just saw it, you know, when he got the cut and he had to come out. We didn't want him to come out. but. It's the rules, and and uh, he played. Joe played a really played really hard tonight. And uh, a couple times he was trying to take a charge, and you know, and then he got caught in between, and, and the kid hit open shots. I mean, he's he's tough, but Joe Joe Tizzo is still put him as one of the best defenders we've ever had. What, the highest of high yesterday, and now obviously this. Yeah. I mean, how do you leave here this weekend? I don't know. I mean, I just told the guys, and Coach Rosselli, that. It's part of life, you know, losing and being able to bounce back and hold your head up high and no one thought you'd be here. You did it. And, you know, let's try to celebrate when we get an opportunity our season instead of thinking about the defeat right now. It's just hard. It's really, they're, they're really hurting. So it's, it's tough. I don't think any coach knows what to say, but it's just, it's just really hard right now. Jamesville is a bigger name team, obviously, but how, how does Harbor Fields matter? Very different teams. They, they, they actually remind us very similar of us, just, you know, a little bit bigger, have more positions, and um, they shoot the lights out, and, you know, they, they spread the floor, they run, like, a lot of ball screens, they just get that point guard going, and um, they're a real tough team. I mean, see, there's probably a lot of seniors on that team, right? Yeah, so they were here last year. That's a, that's a team that's on a mission.